Like the Buckeyes, the Clemson Tigers come into the Orange Bowl coming off a loss as they fell to South Carolina in their regular season to finale. It's a Clemson Tiger team at 10 and 2 start off the year with what looked to be an impressive win over Georgia, close win over Georgia. Maybe not quite as impressive in the after Georgia struggled, but a, a Clemson team that, that, like Ohio State, is out to prove something this weekend. Well, you're right. I think uh, their three biggest games this season have been Georgia, Florida State, and South Carolina. They gave up 35 to Georgia, they gave up 51 to Florida State, and they gave up 31 to South Carolina. So their best uh, their best competition, they haven't played well defensively. But you take a look at a guy like Vic Bauer. He has 39 tackles on the season. And in those 39 tackles, he's got 17 tackles for loss, including 12 sacks. So that's a guy you got to watch out for on the edge. It's an SEC-style defense where they're built from the defensive line kind of backwards. They have uh, Grady Jarrett, who's got 77 tackles in the middle of that defense on the defensive line. And then they've got a guy named Jerron Curse. Uh, nephew of Javon Curse, and he's from here in South Florida, just a freshman. He has four interceptions. Uh, they have uh, Breland, uh, I can't remember his name, but uh, he, he's got four interceptions. They've got a lot of all ACC performers uh, on that defense that, you know, it's the same ACC at Florida State, who's got one of the best defenses in the country. So they're, they're pretty good in the front, in the front four. They're as I said earlier, their, their linebackers, are, they're just okay, and their back defensive backfield is really good, but it's an SEC style of defense where they want to attack and be aggressive, and I think uh, the Buckeyes have, have, uh, have put some lackluster showings, if you will, uh, against defenses like that. Certainly Vic Beasley, the defensive end, has got Ohio State's attention as Jack Muhart is looking forward to going up against Beasley. Yeah, obviously uh, Vic Beasley is a tremendous player, um, defensive end. He's very quick off the edge, uh, kind of a speed rush guy, but he can also give you a little bit of power too. So um, I've been preparing for him, you know, since the Bulls got drawn, and you know, uh, I think it's going to be a great challenge for me. I'm really looking forward to it, and um, you know, it's, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I guess we'll see on Friday night how that goes. Uh, he's, he's just got the uncanny quickness and explosiveness, his short area. Uh, burst, um, you know, top that with he didn't have great size, but he's got incredible strength and ability to leverage, you know, probably pound for pound. He's uh, one of the top two or three guys on our team uh, strength wise. And uh, so he can, you know, play like a 265 pound guy when he needs to as well against uh, bigger, stronger opponents, double teams, those types of things. So that blend of, of uh, natural strength um, and uh, his quickness. Uh, is pretty special. He's a little bit more unique than uh, any D end I've played against in the Big Ten so far. So um, it's like like you said, um, it's a little bit of a unique challenge, and uh, I'm preparing for him. You know, uh, just as hard or harder than anybody I've played against this year. So, uh, like I said, I'm excited, and it's, it's going to be a good matchup. I think it's a combination of speed and power. You know, which will make any any player a good football player. At defensive end, that's a really good thing to have. You know, he can run around you, or you know, if he chooses to, he can go right through you, or you know, take an inside move. So he's got a three-way go, and uh, he's got a good motor. He's very good with his hands, and um, you know, if you're not prepared for him, he'll he'll get the best of you. So that's what I'm working on right now is uh, just you know the, all the his inside move right through me and going around me. So. Um, if I can prepare for those three moves, I, sh I should be all right. Yeah, despite the struggles Clemson has had stopping the run, they actually did a pretty good job when they ended up went up against Williams in Boston College. Yeah, the, that was his worst game of the season. That's a guy who ran for over 2,000 yards, made it to the Heisman Trophy ceremony, and I think that's an important kind of uh, mental key for Clemson to say, hey, this is probably the second or second best running back in the country in my opinion and he had his worst game of the year against this Clemson defense so they really stepped their game up that day and they have uh, done a good job uh, in the run in spurts and I think that can be something that they can build upon. A lot of people expecting a shootout in the Orange Bowl uh, an assertion that the Clemson defensive coordinator to, to no surprise takes a little uh, ag aggression against. Uh, coach this game is kind of being labeled as you know possible shootout how do you I know, approach it. I don't, or? I don't ever think, I, you know, yeah, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't like that uh, one bit. I mean, I'd be lying to say, oh, you know, we'll be, you know, well, we're not, but it doesn't matter if it's Ohio State, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers, it doesn't matter. Your job on defense is to stop people. And so when somebody says it's, everybody wants to say it's a shootout, you know, you take offense to that. And uh, that's, uh, but that's not just this game, you know, that's, you play in a high powered offense and in today's, uh, age of football, whether it's at the NFL or it's in college, 
uh, you know, they're offensive driven and, and uh, the rules set it up for them to, uh, to have an advantage uh, per se. And, uh, but uh, we know we have a, a great challenge, uh, you know, on, on Friday night. But, uh, uh, you know, we're not playing on defense. And like, let's just get one more stop than them. That's not how we operate, and uh, no matter who we're playing. So, uh, you know, we know that if we don't do things right, we turn the ball over, uh, we give up big plays, we don't stop the run, we don't have somebody in the A-gap when we need to, then they'll, they'll break the scoreboard. And, uh, but that's not any different than any other week. Uh, when you're playing a quality offensive opponent. And again, they got a, a ton of experience uh, and a great uh, supporting cast, Braxton Miller and, and Hyde, you know, with, again, we've talked about the line, but they've got uh, big, fast receivers uh, as well. And they'll try to take the top off the defense too in the back end. So, uh, you know, that's what I think about it. And uh, that's not what we're planning for. And, uh, but we'll see, it's why you play the game. Well, I think our defense has, our defense has been practicing really well. and. Um, I mean, like I said, I mean they made some mistakes. We've made some mistakes, and and I think um, our defense is. I think our defense is really good. That's just me. I mean, people can say what they want to say, but I think we have a really good defense, and and I think our defense is capable of um, uh, of stopping even a high-powered offense like this, as long as they focus and uh, and the leaders on that side of the ball to take control. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely feel like you know there's a little more pressure on the offense, you know, to perform well. You know, we got some guys that's uh, that's out right now that might not be able to play. Not, yeah, like. I not be able to play this week, um, so you know that's more pressure on us. And um, we don't, I don't, as an offense, I don't think we mind that. You know, we love to grind games out. You know, control the clock and uh, you know do what we do best. Uh, they're hungry uh, for the for the challenge. Uh, hungry for the opportunity of uh, redemption. Not two years ago, uh, redemption. At, hey, look, we we fell short of our ultimate goals this year, but uh, you know we fought ourselves. In, Fought our way to put ourselves in this position to uh, get on a big stage against a great, great uh, opponent, and, uh, and a chance to prove our mettle. So, um, you know, uh, short, short of making it to Pasadena, this is the next best opportunity uh, we could ask for and hope for. It was definitely disappointing a couple of years ago when we were down here, but um, I feel like this is a completely different team with a complete different maturity level and, and a whole group of guys, and I feel like that this program has came a long way in the last two years and we're definitely looking forward to getting the opportunity to redeem ourselves in the Orange Bowl and, and definitely against such a great opponent. Um, just like Spencer said, we focus on this game and uh, us being down here two years ago has nothing to do with this year or coming into the new year. So that's going to be our first game of 2014. So we want to start off the year right and um, everything, all that is in the past. And um, we have came so far in two years um, as a whole team, me as myself and me as Spencer and I mean, Spencer, we just made so much progress and we're just looking forward to starting 2014 off right. Need to take one more time out in this QP Buckeye Insider. When we come back, we'll talk about the rest of the Big Ten and what has been so far a very disappointing bowl season here on WOSN.